Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jaxpro here bringing you a commentary two days in a row. What the fuck? That doesn't always happen. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Battlefield 3 beta because I don't think anyone's doing that now. A lot of people are doing that. This is actually a continuation of the game yesterday. So if you guys didn't see my video yesterday, yesterday about motivation, I almost said masturbation. Uh, I should do a video on masturbation, maybe. Um, so anyway, if you guys didn't see that video yesterday, then go check it out. Uh, I'm not gonna put a link in the description. Just look in the fucking sidebar, you lazy piece of shit. Uh, go, uh, go check it out. But, uh, yeah, this is the second half of that game. And uh, I just kind of wanted to talk about Battlefield 3, because there's only four days left of the demo left, or the beta. And, uh, I, I think there's still a lot of stuff that people have to be kind of clarified a lot of stuff that has to be clarified and a lot of things that just has to be explained to people that just don't understand how shit works so starting off with like the fucking beta itself what it is it, it's a beta guys it's this is a real beta the betas you've seen for like gears of war or other things it's basically just one map that they completely polished and then had all the gameplay down pat this is a real beta look at that fucking revive i'm a fucking boss this is a real beta with real glitches, and the whole point is for people to break it. Uh, but they're already doing that at Dice Studios. They already know. They already put out a list of all the fixes. I'll, I'll put that link in the description as well. But you could almost guarantee that all the glitches, like outside the map glitches, and uh, glitches where your gun doesn't come up or where you can't do anything. There's actually a good clip here uh, after Sneaky revives me, and I can't do a fucking thing. I have to commit suicide. Um, they said that glitch will be fixed, which is, uh, which is good news. Uh, this is th fucking dumb Rambo revives. But anyway, back to what I'm talking about. The beta, they already put out a list of shit that's fixed. And the whole point of this beta was more or less to test their servers. And Battlefield or EA announced that they had almost double the server load, uh, during the beta than they have ever had with Bad Company 2. Which is mind-blowing. Just this beta. I mean, sure, it was free, so people don't have an excuse. But the interest in this. Double the amount of people uh, on the peak times of Bad Company 2 are, are playing the Battlefield 3 beta right now. Which really, really blew my mind. Now, Battlefield 3 isn't for everybody, and I understand that. But I get really pissed off when I see another stupid revive. I get really pissed pissed off when I see people complaining about the beta and how it has so many glitches. Especially the COD fanboys. And not I don't have anything against COD fanboys. I think I'm one myself, to be honest. But they're saying, oh, MW3 is going to be so much better because it won't have all these glitches. And I'm like, it's a beta. You know, the whole point of it is to break it. So, I mean, whatever. It is what it is, right? Um... The other things that, so like I said, they've announced that they fixed uh, the majority of glitches that happen. And then they, they kind of tweaked some stuff that kind of irritated people. So one of the big fixes they have is in-game squad management, which is awesome. So, for example, I think here, yeah, I'm in a party of four people. One guy is on the other team. And then I think Daz and Sneaky are on the same squad. I'm not really sure. But, um... Like, I'm just flying with two other randoms, and you can, uh, you can get rid of your squad, you can leave your squad, but it puts you in the squad with the least amount of people, which really sucks, because most of the time it's the squad you're just in. So, in the full game, uh, DICE has announced that they will have in-game squad management, where you can have a squad leader, and from that squad leader, you can choose to... Make the squad public, meaning people jumping into the game can join your squad. You can make it private for just those people, or you can make it invite only, just like Xbox Live Party System. So my first thing, uh, my first reaction to that was, well, if I have a party of eight guys, can I make two two squads of four? And as long as you have two different squad leaders and get into the same game, then yeah, yeah, I think it's definitely a possibility, which would be absolutely amazing. Just I could just imagine the rape train on that, where uh, you guys go two squads of four. It'd just be incredible. Um, so yeah, the ability to edit squads in game, to leave squads, uh, and all that stuff. That that's really awesome. I hope they do some stuff with uh, kind of platoon management. Yeah, here's that glitch where I uh, can't do a thing, so I have to commit suicide, which takes a while. The other thing they said is, see this whole kill cam thing where normally it zooms in on the guy that kills you. 
zooms in on his face. In the final version, you'll be able to edit your class. So you'll get that screen right away, which is pretty awesome. Because my, uh, my least favorite thing is after I die, having to look at the guy who killed me just like this. Does it, does it go there? Yeah, so I'd be able to edit my class right from here. Which is, which is good news, because you always want to edit your class as much time as you can. Um, you see, I think I take off my flashlight here or something. Um, but right now, I am uh, I'm wasting time for our team, because realistically, I could be respawning now. But I take off my flashlight, and that sacrifices a lot of time. So you'll be able to do that while you're waiting, kind of in the kill cam, which is, uh, which is more good news. Um, I like seeing that. And look at these revives. Is that double revive? Fuck yeah. I almost went for a triple there. That would have been sick. That would have been montage worthy right there. Um, the other thing, guys, all this information I'm giving to you guys, you guys can go just follow my Twitter. And I tweet out this stuff uh, all the time. I actually tweeted out. I said, if I made more videos about how many times I tweet, I'd be so fucking YouTube famous. It'd be ridiculous. So, anyway, back to Battlefield 3 on console. Um... What was the other thing that they have? Oh, um, between games, you can exit out. So right now, if you're between kind of rounds uh, for your uh, for the rush, you can't back out. You have to wait until the game loads, and then you spawn in, and then you have to back out of that game, which is complete bullshit. It takes forever, and so I, most of the time I just end up dashboarding or shutting off my Xbox, and it's really annoying. But here, uh, another revive. I'm a fucking champion. Um, so you'll be able to exit out basically whenever, as soon as the map loads, you'll be able to exit out, which is, which is more good news, I guess. Um, the other, and probably one of the biggest news for the Battlefield 3 beta, I don't know how many, how many hours you guys have played in this, but if you reach level 16 and get that UMP 45, the ump 45, um, that is so fucking OP, it's retarded. Um, oftentimes you'll hear people say that they, they beat the beta. And you beat the beta once you hit level 16 and unlock that UMP. Because it's a fucking beast of a gun. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous how good that gun is. So they announced that they are going to nerf that. Which is more great news. I mean, I'm just fucking loving this great news from the beta. Um, and to all those people that don't like the beta. Um, don't dislike the beta because of all the glitches and stuff. Because that's just fucking stupid because it's a beta. Um, judge it on release day. I don't know if they'll release a demo for it with uh, the final product of the game. But be sure to watch a lot of videos. And a lot of people say Battlefield 3 gameplay isn't exciting. But if you like a game, then you can watch gameplay of it. Um, I'll watch, like, I still watch uh, gameplay from God of War 3. If somebody's doing a God of War 3 Let's Play, like Excal is doing right now, I watch every fucking episode because I love that game. I don't care who's playing it. So if you guys love a game, or even have remotely some interest in a game, you will watch the videos. I don't watch Gears videos because I don't play Gears. I don't really like it a whole lot. So that's why I don't watch those videos. Now, granted, Call of Duty is more action-packed. It's a lot more in-your-face fucking intense. But in my opinion, Battlefield 3 is, is kind of more mature. And I, I really like it. And I guess that's why it kind of tends to people on PC a little more. Because PC players generally are mature, even though sometimes... A lot of people don't act like it, but um, normally they're older and they're not the 12-year-old doing spins. Uh, so, uh, Battlefield 3, for the beta, uh, party up with a team. That's probably your best bet on doing shit, getting shit done. Because without a team, it is kind of frustrating and it can be. But I know for myself, come October 25th, uh, I was going to get this for the PC. Obviously, that's the whole point of the road to the rig, right? Um, but I'm actually going to get it on Xbox first, and then save up for my graphics card so I can get a GTX 570, and uh, play it on PC in good resolution and good frame rates on pretty high settings. I, I want to run ultra settings and get 60 FPS, but I don't think that's going to happen. Maybe a 1080, but not not uh, not a 1200. So. Yeah, on release day, definitely going to pick this up instead, and uh, if. Even when MW3 comes out, if I have a party of four guys, oftentimes we can only get a party of four, and uh, it's hard to get those last two guys and consistently play uh, some COD with six guys. But if I have a party of four, then you can bet your bet your ass that I'm playing Battlefield 3. 
If I'm playing by myself, I'll probably go Modern Warfare 3 because it'd just be more action-packed and less frustrating without a team. But there's no better, no uh, more satisfying role than playing your role in Battlefield 3. As you see here, I play the assault role, the medic role, as a fucking beast. Uh, I go... I think I've only played about 30 games, and I've got the... Uh, the medic ribbon uh, eight times which means I revived at least five people which is uh, which is pretty good news <laughs> more good news from the beta how many times do I say more good news from the beta let's get a counter on that anyway this video is wrapping up as uh, we uh, we finally uh, demolish these kids actually I mean a 20 minute rush gameplay is pretty good considering we go f through all four stages and it's really good I, I fucking love Battlefield 3 I hope you guys like this video if you do, give a like and a favorite. <laughs> As always, I'm Jax Pro and I'm out. Talk to you later, guys.